So you want to make sure that you are vetting these companies. Ask them every single question you want to ask them, okay? Every question as it pertains to your business, you ask them. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, it's welcome to my channel. But if you're not new, it's welcome back to my channel. I made that day. Anywho, anywho, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, I'm Kimberly, for those of you that do not know me. And I basically make videos pertaining to life, um, life advice, life tips, um, beauty. I do some hair videos. I make tutorials. I do tutorials. I do some of everything, okay? Um, but today's video is going to be an advice video. Um, so for those of you that are um thinking about starting your own business sorry thinking about starting your own business and you're in the stage of looking for a vendor then i'm here to help you okay um i'm actually in the process of starting my own business and although this is very new to me um and i'm still learning a lot there's so much i've learned already and i want to share that with you guys and i'm going to be speaking from the perspective of someone starting a hair business um, but what I share it will be applicable to those of you that are starting a um, hair business, eyelash, shoe, looking for a shoe business. I'm sorry, a shoe vendor, eyelash vendor, hair vendor, um, clothing vendor, whatever it may be. What I share today, please consider all these things when looking for a vendor. Okay, it doesn't matter what category it's in. It all, you know, it all will be helpful to you. Um so I have four things that I'm going to share. I might, you know, go a little bit off topic because I oftentimes do that. But these four points I really want to get across to you all because they are important and they will impact your experience. They will definitely impact your experience and just how things go for your business in the beginning phases, I mean. Um, the very first thing you need to do when looking for a hair vendor or a clothing vendor or anything like that. I may say hair vendor because, again, that's what I'm familiar with. Um, but when looking for a vendor, you need to see if there are any reviews, any feedback, or anything like that as it pertains to the business, the brand, the product, whatever it may be. Make sure there are some kind of reviews, some kind of customer feedback. Um, we are in a day and age where like everything is on social media. Um, platforms are being used for everything. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, one of the biggest ones, YouTube. Um, the person you're thinking about working with or partner partnering with, they should have at least one customer review. Um, and when looking for these reviews, they don't always have to be good reviews. You just want to look for some reviews. They can be bad reviews. They can be medium, okay reviews, or they can be great reviews. You want to make sure that there are some reviews, okay? Um, it's a red flag if you're thinking about working with a business and there are zero reviews. Like, you cannot find it anywhere. You've looked on Google. You've looked on Bing. You've looked on YouTube twitter all these places and you cannot find one customer review one person to back up what this brand is saying that they stand for and who they are and the quality that they give you um that is a red flag now customer reviews should not be a determining factor in no way shape or form okay um because a lot of the time these companies they will pay someone to write a good review because it's all about money at the end of the day, okay? They wanna draw in as many customers, as many people as they can to sell their product, to make money, okay? So they will pay people to leave a good comment. If you purchase something from them, they may give you a discount to leave a good comment or something like that for your next purchase. So just consider that. Also, these people will take, will do whatever they need to make a sale. So they will go in themselves and leave a comment under the page and, Act as, act, as, act as though they are a customer. So you have to be mindful of that. Um, it's, I've got to the point where I can tell like, okay, this is not a customer review. This is definitely them basically talking about themselves. Um, but once you become familiar, you'll notice it. Now, all of them are not like this. You will find some that have customers that leave really good reviews that are legit and things like that. Those are the good ones, okay? Um, but just really consider that if you cannot find any customer feedback any reviews any hair reviews any 
clothing reviews any eyelash reviews anything like that that is a red flag okay and you should definitely not just brush over it um even ask them you know do you have any reviews for your customers how you know what are your customers saying about your product second thing you need to do and my laptop is here so if you guys see me looking down that's what i'm looking at um you need to go on there so well I kind of I'm gonna come back to this one okay so the second one I'm gonna share is go to this person's social media account go to their social media their Instagram their Facebook their Twitter whatever they use and see how it is okay you want to stalk their page you want to stalk their social media are they posting frequently how do they, how does their products look do they have videos are they using pictures of other people are they using other people's products you need to really vet these companies and see what it is that they're that they're showing you because although it may seem okay these are just pictures it goes a long way about how they will um treat you and what what the products and the customer service and the quality they will give you um so these things are important go on their social media look at their page what are their customers saying in the comments? Do they have comments? Do they have a huge following and they only have two followers? You know, like these things should not just be like, oh, well, whatever. These things are important, okay? They're very, very important. Their page, um, see how it is. Is it presentable? Do they have times you can contact them? Do they have a, a number? Are the things that they showing you equaling up to what they're telling you so if you go on their instagram page and they have let me use hair for example um like 30 different textures or whatever but they're only when you contact them on whatsapp because a lot of the time they're using whatsapp they only show you two textures only only give you two textures or if it's the pricing different they're telling you one price um on instagram but they're giving you another on whatsapp these are things you want to consider okay these are things you want to watch out for um, because again, first presentations, the initial views, you, how you see these people initially, it will impact, um, impact you long-term and impact your business. So those are the first two things you want to see if there's any hair reviews or see if there are any views that reviews, sorry, not just hair reviews, any reviews or any feedback from any customers that they have. Um, and you want to go to their social media you want to stalk their accounts this is an appropriate time to stalk okay stalk their accounts and see how their social media presence is oh yeah with that you want to see this will go on to my next point but are they consistent with posting do they post frequently do they post every week do they post every day do they post every four months do they post every one year like you know these things are good to consider if you're looking at a vendor you found a vendor you go on their social media and they have a social media account great awesome but when you get on there we're in 2021 the last time they posted was 2018 or 2019 or even early 2020 that says a lot about them how do they feel about their brand if their brand is what they say it is is if it's the quality is what they say they are they're going to be showing that to people right they're going to be consistently trying to get people in but if you find a vendor and they're not posting frequently they're not updating the information it's old the number doesn't work the website is not working you don't want to continue working with these people because if you need product it's going to be hard to get in contact with them and they really tell you a lot from their presentation so their social medias their websites their communication that tells you a lot it really really does so these are things you want to look out for point consistent with communication so for example you've done your research um oh yeah this is another point how could i miss this this should have been the next one you want to do your research okay guys um and i'll come back to that point but you found you've done your research you found a vendor you found their social media and you've contacted them on whatever number that they have for you to contact them communication is huge okay i will not make this video personal about my own experience and trials and obstacles when it comes to communication with vendors but communication is huge okay at the end of the day you are the customer you are wanting to work with these people so that they, they need to make sure that they are communicating efficiently and that they're answering all your questions and they're answering them in a timely manner manner okay now what you do need to consider um 
some of these vendors, most of these vendors are overseas, okay? So there is a time difference. So if you contact them at 10 o'clock a.m. or 9 o'clock a.m. in the U.S. Um, and they're in China or they're in India, there's going to be a time difference. I believe there's a 13-hour time difference between us and China, the U.S. and China. Just consider these things, okay? So you have a part to play as well. You cannot expect them to respond at 1 a.m. because you're sending them a message at 1 p.m. our time, okay? Doesn't work like that. But if you do find an appropriate time to communicate with them, say it may be 9 o'clock at night our time, but over there it's like 10 a.m. And you're finding out, you know, they're not responding. Responding, It says they're online um, or maybe they're responding weeks later or... 10 days later or seven days later these are things you want to really look out for because again this goes this this shows you how it will be when it comes to um being there to send you products answer your questions you know all of that matters all of that comes into play when these people are not responding and their customer service is really bad and at the end of the day it turns you away if i'm trying to reach out to you i'm trying to work work with you if you know, I'm trying to receive products from you and you are not responding to me um, or you're responding weeks later, you're going to go on to the next person more than likely because time is money, right? Um, so these are just things to consider. That is number three um, is four, visit their website, okay? So you want to go, They ha hopefully they have a website. That's the first thing, okay? Do not... I wouldn't recommend, I'm not going to say do not, but I would not recommend working with a vendor that does not have a website because that doesn't make sense, okay? You need to have a website. So once you go on their website, you need to see how, what is their, you know, what are they offering? Do they have pictures of celebrities? Oh yeah, this is also their Instagram. When you're stalking their Instagram, and I'm just going to use Instagram because that's the most popular one and a lot of these vendors have Instagram. When you go on their Instagram, is it celebrities? Is it they're stealing pictures from all of these different people? Or do they have their own products? Are they showing you their own products? Are they giving you videos of their products? This is something to consider, okay? Do not play yourself. Know that it's not their hair. Know that it's not their, their, their products. That is not their wig, okay? You need to be real with yourself and understand that you know, under, understand that this is not the case. You need to really make sure that they're showing you their products, that they're showing you their factory and all these different things, okay? Um, but going back to their website, maybe they gave you a price on WhatsApp or something like that, okay? If you go on their website and the price is completely different or if they're offering more on their website than they are telling you, these are things you want to question and things you want to ask them about um, because what they're presenting to you should align with what's on their website, okay? Um, are there misspelled words? Are there, you know, I don't know, are things all over the place? It's hard to navigate. You want to look at these things when you are looking for a hair vendor, okay? Um, and again, these people are from other countries, so maybe not the misspelled words, okay? Maybe they have one word misspelled or something. But if it's just hard to understand, hard to read, and you can't really, you don't know where, where, what goes where and all these different things, you want to consider these things when looking for a hair vendor. I should have mentioned this first, but do your research, okay? Do your research. Do not go off of what this person is telling you, what they are feeding you. Do not go off of what someone else has told you. Because a lot of the times, well not all the time, somebody will have a great experience and then you will have a terrible experience. You have to do your research. You have to make sure this company is legit. You have to make sure that what they're feeding you and what they're selling you equals up to what they're showing you, okay? And what you're buying and what you're purchasing. Because if not, you're gonna, at the end of the day, you're gonna play yourself. And no one wants to play theirself, okay? so. Really do your research. Really make sure that this is the company you want to work with. This is the company you want to give your money to um, because that's what it all trickles down to. Um, and these are some, these are just, you know, these are things to be aware of, but all vendors are not like this. I will say that and I will stand by that. All hair vendors or 
all vendors, I'm gonna just say hair vendors because I don't know about the rest, but all hair vendors are not scammers. They're not just trying to, you know, get a sale or anything. There are some that will show you things and will tell you things and will be honest with you. Like, I don't think you should do this. I think you should do this instead. This is why. They will, you know, really, they're very knowledgeable. Um, so there are some like that. So just, you know, consider that all of them are not trying to take your money and scam you and sell you bad products, but there are a lot out there that will. So you want to make sure that you are vetting these companies, ask them every single question you want to ask them. Okay. Every question as it pertains to your business, you ask them because at the end of the day, you want to give them, you want to receive good quality for your customers. Um, so that's really all I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will make be making more videos like this as I um, as I'm on this journey of starting my own business and launching it very soon. I'll be able to share with you guys different tips and different things. If there's something specifically that you want me to share or talk about, please be sure to let me know. Comment it down below. Um, and again, although I'm new in this don't be afraid you know just comment and I, it may be something i've experienced and i'll be able to share with you guys if you haven't watched my other videos please be sure to watch them um and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel and as well follow me on social media um oops wow <laughs> instagram i'm mostly on instagram but i do have facebook and twitter so you can follow me on there and i will see you all in my next video